So hello everyone, welcome to Adapt and guys welcome to your another important session in which I will be discussing with you the most important topics that are there in PIB which are relevant for your examination of RB, SEBI and NABAD and guys if you guys are preparing for the examination of SIDB then also this session can be really fruitful for you because these are kind of questions that could be asked even in the SIDB examination also. Okay, so before proceeding with the session guys, I just wanted to get a confirmation from you that whether am I audible to you, whether you guys can see me, then we will proceed with the session. So tell me quickly in the chat box whether you guys can see me and whether am I audible to you. Okay, now coming to the topics of the day guys, the topics that I will be discussing with you are will be Asian Pacific Postal Union. So recently this is a very important thing because India has taken the chair, uh, chairmanship of Asian Pacific Postal Union and why this is important? Because if you see in the examinations of RBI and NABAR, they have asked the questions on the organizations like uh, the BRICS, they have asked the question, they have asked the question on SAAC, okay? they have asked the question on Shanghai Cooperation Organization, they have asked the question on Federal Reserve. So which means these kind of organizations plays a very important role in our examination of RBI. And similarly guys, if I talk about NABAR examination, also, they also have a tendency to ask questions on international organizations. So this is the reason this organization is very very important for our examination. The second will be the water revision at the rate 2047 which means the first annual state water meeting has taken place for the first time. So I always say you one thing that whenever something takes place for the first time this is very thing important. You have to cover that thing. So this is the reason that we will be covering this specific news and I will be discussing what needs to be covered in this specific news. But before that guys, I just wanted to give you a glimpse of this comprehensive white books which consist of all the important information which is required for your examination. It consists of all things which example you want to know about the organization, not just about RBA, if you want to know about NABAR as an organization. So this gives you a detailed information to know exactly about NABAR as an organization, what will be the promotion scale that you will be getting in this organization. Then guys, the recruitment cycle has been clearly defined here which will be telling you about the examination pattern, the age relaxation, the previous year cutoffs of both phase 1 and phase 2 along with that guys, the syllabus have been decoded for both phase 1 and phase 2 along with the resources that you can use for phase 1, phase 2 and interview and at the end guys we are providing you a 6 step domination formula with which you could strategize your preparation and this guidebook is not just available for RB, you can download the same for the NABAR as well as for the SEBI examination and the most important thing is guys, ye absolutely free. this is absolutely free. So there's a link given below in the description of this video. Click on that link and download these guidebooks which are absolutely free. So kaafi time aapka save hoga in guidebooks. Chali. Now first talk about the first news that I was discussing with you. Why it is important? Because the news itself is saying India has taken over as the leadership of Asian Pacific Postal Union. This is the reason this Asian Pacific Postal Union is important for our examination. Because the examiner, instead of asking question on which organization India has taken the leadership, they might ask you a question on this APPU. Now important here is, if I talk about the tenure for the leadership of India will be 4 years, which will be headed by Mr. Dr. Vinay Prakash Singh. So Dr. Vinay Prakash Singh will be the Secretary General appointed as Secretary General for the Asian Pacific Postal Union. So normal GA question, what can you ask on Dr. Vinay Prakash Singh? who will be the secretary general okay india kitne tenure ke liye bana hai four years ke liye bana hai but now the different question that could be asked in all is on asian pacific postal union so when i talk about asian pacific postal union guys its headquarter is in bangkok that is in thailand then it is an intergovernmental organization which consists of 32 member countries this is important okay the 32 member countries are belong to which region it is asian pacific region so ye to naam bhi bata raha hai asian pacific postal union now guys, this is a very important thing to understand here is, it is an organization which is a sub-organization of Universal Postal Union which is a specialized agency of United Nations. So this is the important thing that could be asked in the examination is, might be an examiner can ask you a question that APP is it is working under Universal Postal Union which is a specialized agency of United Nations. So that statement is right and when I talk about Asian Pacific Postal Union, under this Universal Postal Union, it is the only restricted union of this Universal Postal Union. This is the important thing to understand that APPU is Universal Postal Union, ka only restricted union. Hai, whereas Universal Postal Union itself is a special agency under the United Nations, <coughs> not APPU. So this is an important point to remember here is that APPU is not a special agency 
Universal Postal Union is a specialized agency. Here, then we talk about this goal of this APPU is basically to extend and facilitate or improve the postal services across the Asia Pacific region. Okay, now let's talk about the question here. Let us see here. Now let I want here maximum participation here because I have all of you have Now let me see what should be the answer here. The question I am asking you is headquarter of Asian Pacific Postal Union. So where is the headquarter of Asian Pacific Postal Union? Tell me quickly guys. This is a very easy answer. Where is the headquarter of APPU? So headquarter is in, that is option number B. It is in Bangkok, that is in Thailand. Okay, so its headquarter is in Bangkok, Asian Pacific Postal Union. The second question I am asking you is, which of the following statements are correct with respect to the Asia Pacific Postal Union? So it should not be India, it should be Asia Pacific Postal Union. So what should be the answer here? Now I am waiting for a response here guys because we have discussed in detail about this APPU. Now you have to tell me what should be the answer here. So I am waiting for a response here guys. Now if I talk about this thing, if we break this statement. Intergovernment organization. 32 member countries. Then only restricted union of universal postal union. Special agency of United Nations. Okay. Third is goal is to extend. Facilitate and improve the postal relations or the postal services between the countries to promote the cooperation in the field of postal services. So tell me what should be the answer here. So Dhruv is saying option number C will be the answer here. Let's wait for others also Dhruv. What should be, what should be the answer here guys? Tell me what should be the answer here. Answer here is guys option number D. All the statements given here are right. Because if you look at this statement, where you guys can get confused here is, remember this thing. I told you, Universal Postal Union is a special agency under United Nations, not APPU. But remember one thing, remember this line. APPU is the only restricted union of UPPU, Universal Postal Union, which is a sub-agency of United Nations. So that's why the second statement also becomes right. So three no, three no statements are your Correct. Hai. This is an easy question that could be asked in state examination also. Who among the following has taken over as the charge of Secretary General of the Union for the period of four years? That is for the for APPU for the period tenure of four years. Answer is very easy here, guys. The answer is option number C. That is Dr. Vinay Prakash Singh is the answer here. Okay. So easy to answer hai. APPU ke head kaun bane hai? Secretary General kaun bane? It is Dr. Vinay Prakash Singh. Now let's talk about the second news of the day guys that is about water india at the rate 2024-2047. Now remember one thing it is not the summit that has been taken is it is the first time I always tell you when anything has taken place for the first time this itself is becoming very very important for the examination. Now for the first time an all india annual state ministerial conference on water has been taken place. The theme for that conference is Water Vision at the rate 2047. So remember this thing, Water Vision at 2047 is a meeting it's with a theme. Water Vision at 2047, the first annual state ministerial conference on water has taken place. Now if I talk about this thing, it has taken place at Bhopal. So guys, for SID, the students who are giving the examination of SIDB, remember these kind of small, small things. They could ask you straight question, maybe five thematic areas, but basic question is where it has happened. It has happened in Bhopal. The theme is Water Vision at the rate 2047. And it has taken place on five thematic. That is, it is focusing on basically five, thema five themes. The five themes are, first is Water Security in Water Deficit, Water Surplus and Hilly Regions. It's the name itself is saying, there is a water security. In first of all, where the water security we are facing major water security, जहाँ पे water deficit है, या तो कहीं पे water surplus है, कहीं पे water बहुत ज़्यादा deficit है, और यहाँ पे hilly regions, hilly regions में भी there is a problem now coming. Many of us are thinking कि hilly regions में जो है, बहुत ज़्यादा enough water है, but guys, here also the problem still is coming there. There also the water level is going to getting down and down. This is the important thing. This is the first thing, water security. Second theme is water using because when we have secured the water, how we will be securing the water by using the water efficiently, which will be it says including the reuse of waste water and grey water, which is the purpose is it's to community participation go extend karna. Then is water governance. Governance is basically to break the water sector by bringing various states together. 
विद हेल्प ऑफ सेंटर सो दैट वाटर गवर्नेंस वुड बी डन वाटर को एक अच्छी तरह से आप मैनेज कर सकते क्लाइमेट चेंज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्ट फॉर वाटर दैट इज द फोर्थ थीम इज क्लाइमेट चेंज रिजिलियंट एंड वाटर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड द लास्ट थीम इज बेसिकली वाटर क्वालिटी द वाटर क्वालिटी इज इंपॉर्टेंट विच विल बी डील विद प्रॉब्लम ऑफ ड्रिंकिंग वाटर सर्फेस वाटर एंड ग्राउंड वाटर वाटर क्वालिटी भी अच्छी होनी चाहिए ठीक है सो दिस इज द बेसिक थीम ऑफ दिस एनुअल कॉन्फ्रेंस Now, one important thing, guys, that I want to share here with you is the purpose of this conference, Water Vision at the 2047. What does it mean? It simply means that under this conference, the states have been given or the participants have been given a deadline that they should become come up with a proper plan to implement to work on this thing with which they could save water, and the plan should be. विद द विजन ऑफ 2047 तो 2047 के विजन से आपको एक वाटर प्लान बनाने हैं और दीज थिंग्स वाटर सिक्योरिटी भी होनी चाहिए वाटर एफिशियंटली यूज हो उसके थ्रू उसके थ्रू वाटर शुड बी गवर्न प्रॉपरली एंड इट शुड बी इन रिलेशन विद क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड वाटर क्वालिटी दिस इज द पर्पज ऑफ दिस वाटर विजन एट द रेट टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन स्टॉक फॉर द क्वेश्चन है क्वेश्चन बट इज अम For this first All India Annual State Ministers Conference on Water, this is a very easy question to answer. Now I want all of you to answer here. What should be the answer here? Answer here. What will happen? So guys, the answer here is that is option number E. That is water vision at the rate 2047 is the answer here. So guys, this was all about the session. I hope you have liked the session. So if you have any kind of query, you could drop me an email at hello at the rate at dot co dot in. And if you have liked the session, guys, kindly share the session with your friends also. And to get the PDF, subscribe to the Telegram channel. The link for which is given in the description below. Okay. Again, I am repeating. Any kind of query, you could drop me an email. You could have a call with me on the number that is eight one four six two zero seven two four one. So any query, if you guys have, guys, you guys can share the query with me. I will be really happy to address your queries. If there is no query, then we can end the session here. So, any query, guys? If you guys have, you can ask me your query. Otherwise, we should end the session here. So, okay, guys, I am not getting any queries. Still, guys, if you feel kind of any kind of query, you want any topic you want to discuss with me, can you can drop me a comment on the session, and you can also drop me an email on this email ID on which topic you want me to come up with the next session. So again guys wishing you all the best for examination keep working hard keep preparing hard bye bye